Hey everyone, welcome to the channel today. Uh, today we're working on the 2000 Jeep Cherokee. We have an ignition switch issue. This key, I don't know if it's the original or not, however, is extremely worn. And there are days when I go to turn, <coughs> excuse me, turn the Jeep off, the key is actually getting somewhat stuck within the ignition cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and replace it. The one I got from Parts Geek is part number LC64750. Comes with two keys. Um, never done this before on a Jeep Cherokee. So from what I see is there are a couple of screws, just some Phillips heads, this uh, plastic knee brace or under dash brace, whatever you want to call it, cladding. Looks like we have some possibly eight millimeter bolts. Um, I'll clarify that here in a minute. So we'll go ahead and get started, see what we come up with. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see if we can find those screws. Let's adjust this camera just a little bit here. It's extremely tight in here today. So we have one screw up here. Already, you can see the separation of the two halves of the steering column. Let's see if we can find this guy. Come on. There we are. You don't necessarily have to jam it up there, it should come out fairly easy. Just calm a little bit. Let's see what else we might need to take off here. Okay. Don't necessarily want to pull on this. Break anything. So what I'm gonna do is take off. Take off the lower lower piece here and uh, see what we can get into. Okay, so these are actually quarter inch, not metric. There's three from what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and start taking these guys off. actually use a Phillips on these, but I like using the uh, socket. So let's go ahead and pull this guy back. See if he'll come out. Hopefully without breaking anything. There it goes. Just a little lightly pull. You have a tab there, which goes in there. And you have a tab there, and it just goes over there. Cool. We'll clean these parts up. All right. A rubber piece. Awesome. Looks like that's actually falling down a little bit. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll mess with that here in a little bit. So let's see what else we need to get into. There are only two bolts. Excuse me, screws. They're both Phillips. They are actually different lengths. So I will double check that 
here in a little bit. See which one goes into uh, which. Okay, so we have the two halves somewhat separated. However, down here, it looks like this bottom half of the column slips down into that rubber piece and I don't know what else is holding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, this quarter inch screw bolt and that one as well and remove this whole cover. Same size as that, so that's okay. So now we have it. It appears pull access to the column. Not too bad. Ooh, look at that grime though. Gross. Clean that up for sure. Uh, this particular Cherokee has over 252,000 miles on it. Actually, it just turned over 253. Uh, it's been a great vehicle. Um, and if I would have known better, I probably should have bought a new headlamp switch. Maybe I'll clean this up. I noticed uh, every once in a while, in the morning especially, the lights kind of flicker. Um, so that switch is probably getting weak or just needs to be cleaned up. So we'll see. So for this, uh, looks like this can possibly slide down just a little. Oh, okay. Well, it separates. Uh, we got another another screw here in the back. So let's go ahead and tackle that. And again, this might be slightly different depending on the years. I'm not too sure about some of the older ones. Um, again, this is a 2000, so your application might be slightly different. So let's go ahead and get this other screw out of there. And then hopefully, this thing will come apart. Turn it until it feels the head. There we are, we're engaged. Just for the camera work being I'm holding my phone and trying to do this and leaning down reaching into this Jeep right now. So it is a little shaky. And we're gonna have to put this camera on here. Hopefully you guys can see what is going on here. There it goes. Okay. All right, so our two halves are separated now. There's just a couple of threads left on that. On that guy. Does not want to come apart. So let's just go ahead and give him a couple of twists. There he goes. There he is. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this is what we're after. The ignition cylinder. So we'll go ahead and get some, uh, get some room and get this out of the way. And we'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Now that we made some room on the floorboards here, we can actually sit in the driver's seat. So what we need to do is we're going to be taking out the whole ignition cylinder. And to do that, there is a button on the back side, actually on the bottom here. You can kind of see it. 
down here. So what you need to do, take your key, put it in, and keep in mind I did disconnect the battery. So we'll go ahead and turn it to the on position. With that, we're going to, hang on, let's switch positions here. Give you guys a better view of what I'm doing. So this is the little button you needed to press. See that? It just pops right in. Now, we'll just go ahead and slide the whole cylinder out. Okay. See that? Of course it's stuck. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Oh, there it goes. So that is your key cylinder and see get the camera in there there's the that pin and that pin as you probably saw sits just down in that hole so what I'm gonna do is kind of clean that up just a little bit make sure we don't have any gunkies in there and we'll go ahead and uh, do the installation of the new one. Okay, so we have the ignition area kind of cleaned up a little bit. I pulled the new one out of the box just to verify that they look exactly the same. They have the, um, the same little dowel area for the pin to lock into. If you notice on the old one here, since I have the key in and in the on position, you can press this one down. On the new one, you can't do that yet. I don't have the key inserted into the on position so we'll go ahead and do that and then this thing should just go right into the, uh, the cylinder area and uh, hopefully work all right so we're ready to go ahead and install our brand new cylinder lock and what we need to do next and I really got to do something about this camera so we put our key in okay now this is up, and this is gonna go straight up and in. And maybe a little bit, yeah, you can barely see the top of that slot up there. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and hold it straight up, and we're gonna turn it. And now this, you can depress, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and insert this. So again, we want to make sure that the button is down to line up with that little hole from earlier. So we'll go ahead and slide it in. Okay. Okay. Now that should be that. Let's go ahead and switch positions a little bit here. Make sure that pin fully engaged, which it did. So that is good. Let's go ahead and back the key out. Perfect. Insert. Okay. It's engaged. There we go. And there's on. Accessory mode, or just one click of the key, all the way off, out. Fully engaged. So let's go ahead and clean up a few things and uh, we'll go ahead and test it out, make sure it fires up. Okay, so we got everything cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and do the reverse, um, you know, installation here, starting by the lower column. I'm gonna tie this back together, or actually it has a little bit of a, it's like a zip tie type deal. Um, get the lower half of the steering column plastic piece intact, and then do the um, knee brace, whatever you wanna call it, and just that piece of metal, which I just cleaned up real quick. So let's get started.
two halves, clam together. So that is good. We'll take our first long screw that we took out last. Kind of force it out there just a little bit. Nope, that's not gonna work. We'll take our screwdriver. Gotta love it when it doesn't want to go back together now. <laughs> All right, Let's see what the heck is going on here. That one got started. Make sure these halves are still staying together, which they are. side over here which we'll, I'm going to call that the passenger side and you just got to play with it a little bit being your kind of a close quarter deal not exactly made for big people, maybe regular sized people. And I'm not going to tighten these all the way down until I know everything is in good shape here. Let's take our last screw. Push them up. Make sure our halves are still good. This is plastic you don't need to get extremely aggressive and over tighten this being it is old it's 21 years old now so plastic's kind of brittle so i'm just sneaking up on it we'll come back to the long one over here in the back he's good come to this driver's or passenger side one Start snugging him up. That's good. For some reason, that's not fitting right, but 
There it goes. Just had to be persuaded. And gently find the head of the Phillips here. up on it. Again, you do not need to over tighten these. You definitely don't want to rip it in half or have it strip out or anything else. So, looks like that's all in good shape now. Now let's see what we're, you guys can see. Adjust this a diff on my tripod. Okay. So, I have this metal tang down here which sits kind of holds that rubber piece. So what we're gonna do is pull this tang, or excuse me, rubber piece up, make sure that's tight. And we're gonna join this other, other piece down here. And this is just gonna essentially zip into place. There it goes. And this piece sits just like that. I like the way that's fitting. Good deal. Sweet. Moving on. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and install our uh, whatever you want to call it. Metal piece with our quarter inch screws slash bolts. Three on the bottom. Two on the top. This is going to sit just like that. Go ahead and get this first one started. It's going to help us out just a little bit. Take our other one. Same thing, you do not need to get aggressive on tightening these, they just need to be snug. Okay, I like the way that looks now. Just gonna adjust this rubber piece just a little bit here. Perfect, awesome. All right, we're on the home stretch. Huh, 11 to 22.99, wow, cool. Okay. Again, we're gonna take our tabs. The red portion there is for that plastic, that outer plastic alignment dowel. And the same thing, I'm not gonna show that because it's screwed up now. So we're just gonna gently line these up. Give it a slight push. It's engaged. Good deal. So now we'll do the bottom. Let's adjust this a little bit. Push 
should be lined up. Yep. Good. Lined up that one. Perfect. Last one. I'll do it by feel since I can't see. Good. That is good. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and hook the battery back up real quick. sign click okay that's a good sign fuel pump is on radio is on the window show wipers on an accident okay success we are in good shape the key comes right on out awesome well that's how you do your key ignition cylinder on your 2000 Cherokee again it's probably the same for a 2000 or probably from 98 to or 97 to 01 uh, but it might be a little bit different for other years thanks guys for watching wrench hops we'll talk to you all later